Welcome to the overview of the Playback Connection. We will be covering the following topics. Downloading market replay data, setting up for playback, and working with market replay data. The Playback Connection provides the ability to replay market data from a previous day or series of days at different speeds. Playback can be used to test trading strategies in a simulated real-time environment with pre-recorded real market data. In addition to replaying previous days, the Playback Connection also has the ability to playback the current day's data up to the current time. Playback data is provided free of charge to all NinjaTrader users, including those using simulator license keys. To ensure that playback data is always available from NinjaTrader servers when requested, downloads are limited to one day at a time, but multiple days can be downloaded in succession. To download playback data, first open the Tools menu from the Control Center, then click Import Historical Data. In the Historical Data window, expand the section labeled Get Market Replay Data. Next, select your desired instrument from the Instrument drop-down menu. Here you can select any pinned or recently viewed instruments, as well as your instrument lists. If your desired instrument is not in the list, you can click the small magnifying glass icon to open the Instruments window, in which you can search your entire instrument database. Simply begin typing the symbol or description of your desired instrument, and search results will appear as you type. Next, select a date for which to download the data, then click Download. If you wish to download a range of days, you can then quickly change the date to the next desired day, then click Download once more. Timestamps for downloaded market replay data will be in Eastern Time Zone, regardless of your local PC time. When you are finished downloading data, you can connect to the playback connection as if it were one of your live market data connections via the Connections menu in the Control Center. Once connected, the playback control window will appear, which is used to control or view the available data, date ranges, and current speed of playback. The current date and time of the data being played back will be displayed in the top corner of the window. This display will update in real time when data is being played back, allowing you to keep an eye on where you are in the data set. The playback connection can utilize market replay data, which is what we've seen so far and which contains both level 1 and level 2 data, or it can utilize the historical data already stored on your PC. Market replay data will be used by default but you can switch to historical data by checking the button labeled Historical in the Playback Control window. Before setting the start and end dates, you can right-click in the Playback Control window, then click Show Available Data to view the market replay data or historical data currently available to playback. Note that this will actually open the historical data window, which can also be opened from the Tools menu in the Control Center. After confirming that data is available for your desired date range, Use the Start and End drop-down menus to select a starting and ending date to play back. These menus will display only the dates for which you have data available, and they can be changed at any time to load more or less data. With everything set up, click the Play button to begin playing back. The small 1x text to the right of the slider indicates the current speed of playback. To increase or decrease speed, click the up or down arrow buttons directly to the left of the speed display. A number of preset speeds are available, up to 1,000 times normal speed. In addition, you can set the speed to max to playback data as fast as your computer is able. The slider to the right of the play button indicates how far along you are in the configured date range. To jump ahead in this range at any time, you can either drag the slider forward or backward, or right-click in the playback control window, click Go To, then enter a date and time in the window that appears. Thank you for viewing the overview of the Playback Connection.